it's Sorogi Pro here and our devices has arrived and we're going to show you how you can configure this one we're going to look what's inside the box and what are the things we need to do so that we can set up a whole Wi-Fi system for a campus so stick with me let's start with this PoE 24 port gigabit switch so that's Unify we have your cloud key controller. This is where the software is going to run. It comes with a memory card and a cable. This is your Unify access point. It's APLR. Let's open this one up. That's how it looks like. We have the port there. And of course a mount, power cable, screws and power injector. We have eight of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There you have it. We're going to configure all of this one. Let's just set up our computer, power on our switch, pull up some of the cables here, grab my cloud key, plug in our memory card, and plug this cable, plug it to our switch. And of course, our switch is a PoE switch. So it's going to power up that cloud key. You can see that light blinking. Plug in our laptop so that we can access the web interface of that cloud key. Let's jump into our computer. Right click on the current adapter that we are using. Click that one. We can click on details. We do not have an IP address. We need to set one. Properties. Let's assign 192.168.1.10 because the default IP of this cloud key is 192.168.1.30 so we need to be in the same network let's just put in the subnet mask here press ok ok close let's go to our web browser and access the cloud key 192.168.1.30 and click advance proceed there you have it we have two options here we have the unify controller and the unify cloud key we are going to configure unify cloud key first we need to set this one up before the controller we log in the default username and password is ubnt so it will require us to change the password so old password ubnt and then we'll put the new password let's make this one quick save that is the dashboard let's go to configuration we can change the name here that's a default name let's go ahead and put a name that we want here set up the time zone we can also set up the ip address of this one we're going to set up as a static 172.22.0 the 20 so that we can easily access this one on the Wi-Fi network that we are going to use so we're going to change the default IP address here in accordance to the IP addressing of our Wi-Fi network so these are the IP address that we're going to use scroll down apply changes and since it's applying changes the refresh will go into an error so we need to change the IP address that we currently have in our computer because it's in a different network click on our adapter properties and change the IP address we have here with 172.22.0.10 so that we'll be in the same network with our cloud key and change the subnet mask so that it will be the same with the Wi-Fi network that we're going to use change the IP address here so that we can access the dashboard of the cloud key 172.22.0.20 advance and then proceed voila we can click on unify cloud key again log in with the new credentials that we have and try to check if everything's good there you go so configuration the settings to change are okay and we're good to go to configure the controller let's go in log out and 
we're going to refresh this one to the original page we have so that this unify control can be seen we can click on manage and start the configuration so we're on unify setup wizard we're going to put in the location set your time zone if it is not set go for next configure devices there are no devices that are connected to our switch yet so we can go for next we can configure those ones later on in this section we can configure our wi-fi so we can start by putting in our ssid now we can put in also our security key or our password for the wi-fi i want to enable guest access mm, i want to change the ssid here on top so i'll change this one with vip5 so that's going to be used by people who are very important now guest access i'll put this one as kcp5 this is going to be used by a lot of people go for next next up we have here is controller access now these settings here are the data or the access that we're going to use to log into that unify controller if ever we want to change something on our wi-fi settings so i'm just going to blur this one out fill out all the information here and then next and then you will have a quick summary of what you have configured and then we can go for next let's plug this access point so that we can see our configuration if it's working plug it to our switch and then this should power up while this is powering up let's go to our unify controller and try and see if we can detect that unify we have plugged in so login so we have an access point detected and one inactive LAN device let's go to devices we have the access point connected and the LAN switch as provisioning so let's click this one and it says fail to load retry hopefully this will be connected and then there you go so our access point and your switch are connected let's go ahead and plug another access point we have eight access points but in this walkthrough we're just going to plug in two to complete the tutorial or the demo that we're doing here's the second one unbox it one there you go plug it in and it's powering up let's go and jump into my computer check if this can be detected there you go it popped in it says pending adoption so we click this one click adopt and the software will try to adopt this one it changed into provisioning until this should be connected there you go it changed status to connected other things we can do here is just like naming the access point you can click on the access point go to config and put an alias so that it's easier to identify each access point just remember if you have the eight or more access point there then it would be a little bit hard to identify them so probably we can name them on the location that we're going to put them like this one let's say lab or laboratory and so on and so forth let's continue to configure our wi-fi so let's go to settings click this one and then let's jump ahead to our wireless network now we can see two ssid that we previously configured so let's start with kcp5 let's configure this one i want to change this one into kcp free fi so that people will know that this is a free wi-fi okay i'll just let this one open and then save let's go and configure guest control because that is set to guest control i'll open the portal 
I want to show you this Facebook Wi-Fi feature with Unify. You can set how long they are going to be on the network. And um, setting this one, KCP. Now, the concept of this one is they are going to use their Facebook account to log in to the internet, but they need to do a check-in with the company page. So if they're not going to check in, then they are not going to be connected to the internet. This setup, uh, we're not going to do this one because we have other setup to do, but I just want to know that if you are using Unify, it will be a very good feature to promote your business because people will visit your page first before they are going to connect to the internet. So that's cool. So what we're going to do is the hotspot. Now I can stick with the portal enabled and the user will be using two hours. I want to scroll down here and put a title. I've already put a one earlier and give a welcome message here if you want to so that if they're going to connect to the internet, then they will have a welcome message. You can also put your logo so that they know that they are connecting to your um, campus network and uh, those settings you can modify them as you want we're just going to this one quick so that we can finish the setup now this is how it looks like when people are going to browse the internet they will have your logo and you will have your welcome message let's go and configure the voucher because these vouchers will set limits to users who are going to connect to your network so you can actually sell also if you want to so let's just say we're going to make 10 vouchers here and it's going to be as one time once they're going to put in this voucher code uh, it's only going to be used one time and you can set the expiration date here and you have also the capability to limit the download speed the upload speed and of course the coda how how much can they download from the internet? So these features are actually very helpful if you are using it in a campus so that nobody's going to eat up all the internet speed that you have there. So you can save that one. This is how it looks like. Now it's up to you if you are going to give this one for free or you can also make it, if you can also sell this one. So in this case, I've created one voucher code free for use and it can be used by a lot of people unlimited because uh, this is for free. But if you want to sell that one, you can also go to Batch Print and sell those 10 voucher codes that we created. And you can see it looks like this one. Just think of the possibilities, my friends. There are a lot of things you can do with this Unify product. Now, I have not uncovered a lot of the features out there, but I have shown you a part of it. So I hope you can do a lot of things with it. Now the next thing you're going to do is pull up that network plan you have there. Like what I have here, this is an example. If you have laid out the plan, it's time for you to deploy those devices to the locations you have already planned out. Now if you have questions, my friends, just drop a comment down below. Let me know about it. And if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, smash the like button and share it to your friends. Now, I am Torogi Pro and I'm making videos as informative as I can make them. So, I hope this has been informative for you guys. Until next time, goodbye.